Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Softly hit toward the hole. And that's out number one. Here's D. Gordon now. Career numbers against Danny Duffy. He's one for five. First offering on its way. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. And we'll see some 40s before things are said and done tonight. Right now, 51 degrees at first pitch. Hit weakly on the ground to short. Mondesi brings it in. Throw in time at first for route number two. He's set and the pitch. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Swing and a liner, but foul. The 0-2 once more. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. 1-2-3 go the Mariners. And now the Royals get their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Justice Sheffield is charged with keeping their hopes alive on the mound here in the league championship series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? They acquired by the Yankees in the Andrew Miller trade from the left side. Big arm. The Yankees think that this guy could be a very good pitcher, and they think he's going to be in their starting rotation heading into the future. Big fastball, 94 to 95 miles an hour. Good selection of off-speed pitches. Once he learns to command those off-speed pitches, the sky's the limit for Justice Sheffield. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Settling in now, Whit Merrifield. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now here it comes. Hit on the ground is short. Scooped up. And quickly, there are two away. And with two away, here's a look at our updated playoff brackets. And the question on everyone's mind is, will we be able to punch our first ticket to the World Series after tonight's ball game? Gordon is up with it. The first, and they don't come any easier than that. A three pitch inning, and the side is retired. KC down in order, and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swing and a ball hit toward the shortstop, Mondesi. Reined in. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. That is it. The third baseman, Kyle Hugo. So the base is empty here with one away. And into bat next, the third baseman, Kyle Seeger. First pitch of the at bat. Line drive, base hit. And that's hitting one-on-one -on -one right there, guys. The only way you're able to execute that type of base hit on that type of pitch is to recognize it early, stay tall, stay back, and trust the process. So now to the plate, Austin Nola. As it's on the ground toward the hole, he lays out, but he can't make the play, and it's through into right. The throw to third. And he's safe. So problems out there in right field is this is going to wind up going as an E9. He's ready. Here's the first offering. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded cleanly. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. 
the first baseman, number 12, Evan White. From the stretch. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. He's right there. Go on to first to be in time, and the Mariner rally gets turned away as the inning is over. So they pick up no runs on two hits, one error in the inning, and two men left stranded. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two, and we are tied nothing nothing. Lady up for the world, the designated hitter, Jorge. First delivery to him on the way. On the ground to third. There is Seeger. And quickly there's one down to lead off the frame. That is good. The right field. Standing Hunter. in, Hunter Dozier, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Bounce towards the second baseman. Gordon is there. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. First offering on its way. Rounded slowly to the left side. Scooped up. Throw on to first. A three-pitch inning. And the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Back with Striding into the box, Tim Lopes. And he'll start out their half of the third. Top of the order to follow. First pitch of the at-bat. Sliced hard on the ground. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now that Malik two. Smith the next to hit. He's 0 for 1 two. after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. The 0-1. Soft liner towards short. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. The batter of the out. And here's the speedster D. Gordon. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit back up the middle. Mondesi picks it up. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Mariners are down in order. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Waiting up for the board. The first baseman, number 56. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a hard liner to center field. And the Royals are in the hit column. Hey, some guys can handle the postseason lights, and this is obviously one of them. Another base hit leading off for the boys. This guy's had a monster postseason so far. Now with the plate, Michael Franco. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Holy smokes. That's the first ball they've taken the entire game so far. They're swinging at everything. Hit out towards second. One there. On to first, a double play. So the base is empty now after the double play. And set to go is the second baseman, Nicky Lopez. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. Lopez, a 25-year-old, he was a fifth-round pick back in the 2016 first-year player draft. Hey, this middle round selection is still developing, but he's doing it at the big league level, and he has a lot of time to get his tool set ironed out. Right to him. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Nothing doing for the Royals. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless.
New inning set to get underway. Digging in for his second at bat, Mitch Henniger. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on to get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Tom Murphy. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. And that misses ball one. Jeez, finally. That's the first ball they've taken all night. Do it again, I dare you. Line to the right side. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. He doubled up on that one, Danny. Back-to-back change-ups. Nice job by the batter right there, staying on that pitch. That's one of the things that this pitcher will do, though, Mark. His changeup is so good, he's not afraid to throw it back-to-back -back pitches. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. Hit in the air down the left field line. Going after it is Gordon. He's not going to have a play on it, and this might bring home the runner from first. Throw won't get him. Finally, they show some signs of life. These guys have been swinging the bats like they're underwater or something. But a single and a double, and now they've got runners on second and third. We'll see if they can cash them in. To the plate now, Austin Nova. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Catch made here in medium deep right center and the runner's breaking from third. The tag and he is out at the plate. And so much for our first run of the ball game. One left for Seattle. On to the bottom of the fourth now still with no score. So next to the plate for the Royals, Alberto Mondesi, second at bat now. He grounded out to start the home first. Hit hard up the middle, and a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Boy, dear, it's about time they got something brewing here. First pitch single, and maybe now they can start to get some traffic on the bases. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. Ambush tactics, not always the play. You want to drive that pitch count up and get into that bullpen, but sometimes, desperate times, Whit Merrifield will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Waiting on it is Smith. One away. One away for the Royals here in the fourth. And that will bring up the veteran left-handed hitting outfielder Alex Gordon. Line to the right side. Moore is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Royals. Jorge Soler from the stretch. Fly ball out to straightaway right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. One left for Kansas City. Through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far, and he told me that they have to find a way to be more patient at the plate. Seven of their at-bats have resulted in first pitch outs, so he said they need to find ways to get better pitches to swing at early in the count. That or change their approach and work themselves into deeper counts where they might get more chances to hit a mistake pitch. Either way, they're looking to make adjustments down here. Matt? All right, Heidi, thank you. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. Big swing and a miss at the changeup. A ball and a strike. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The one-two. Hit out towards second. He's got it. 
And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. The first base, number 12. Stepping up to the Evan plate, Evan White comes White. into this at-bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. First pitch of the at-bat. Down the first baseline. Oh, what a stop on the slide. How about that? Now with the play, Tim Lopes. Tim Lopes. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Mondesi scoops it up. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Mariners. Halfway home, still no score. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with the Kansas City manager during the inning break about the Royals' offensive production to this point. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Hit down the line at first, but that finds its way through for a base hit. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And he is in there. So that'll go into the books as an E6, and he'll be kicking himself over that one. So following the error, it's now runners at first and second. And here comes the first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. No balls in one strike. Dozier at second. Perez on at first with nobody out. I had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. Hey, I can't have one of my best left-handed power bats fishing for balls off the plate. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Moore has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first down. Well, he thought about tagging and moving up, but instead he's back to second. Now that. So coming to the plate, Michael Franco. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Fly ball heading for the alley. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. And the runner is in from second. Boy, it's been tough to score in this one so far through the fifth inning. But that RBI base hit right there is a nice breakthrough. Yeah, it's been a great pitcher's duel up until this point. They've been executing on the bump without question. But that RBI knock right there might set the tone for the later innings. At the plate, Nicky Lopez. As he'll send the first one he sees on the ground to second. The second for one. On to first, but not in time. He beats it out to keep the inning alive, and the run is in to score. Well, they really didn't have a shot at turning two on the high chopper. They only get one, and that allows the runner from third to score. Shatters the bat as this is hit on the ground. Going to be a tough play. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So two runs on two hits, one error, and a runner left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. KC leads this one two to nothing. So back to the top of the Seattle lineup, digging in, Malik Smith. He was a ground out victim last time up. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Swing and a liner. But quick reactions at the hot corner take away a hit, and there's one gone. Ready for another shot now. D. Gordon. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. He's set. Here it comes. This is line to left. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at-bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's a single. Go figure. So a runner at first now with one away. And up next, the corner outfielder, Mitch Hanniger.
from the stretch. Line towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. But Dan, right here you see a situation where no doubles defense can comes back to bite you. As a pitcher, are you even aware when guys are playing a foot off the track? I'll be honest with you, D-Row. You're so concerned about on the mound trying to get that white ball to that dark brown or black glove that I never really ever turned around to even know it's where they were playing. I was concerned about getting the guy out swinging the bat. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. It's swung on and driven out to right center field, a ball that's well hit. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he's safe. You take a look at this one as it flies into the gap. Both outfielders give it a chase, but they can't catch up. Next thing you know, it one hops the ball, and he's busting his hump around second on his way to third. Stepping in now, Kyle Seeger. He grounds it sharply to third. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. And they will get it out here as he's tagged out at second. But meanwhile, a run is already in to score. And this will go down as an E5 as you can see the exasperation on his face. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Austin Nova. He was a double play victim last time around. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Dozier moving back. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So they pick up three runs on three hits, one error in the inning, and no one left on base. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. The Mariners lead it three to two. With Merrifield next to hit. And Dan he and his fellow top of the order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate. First pitch on its way. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Ready once again, Alex Gordon. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like you did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Oh, and one the count. And the pitch. Fastball called for strike two. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Slow grounder to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So here's the Royals' DH, Jorge Soler. It's been an 0-for-2 effort for him to this point takes this the other way to right and that is in there for a two out base knock so the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit now back the right field Hunter Dozier digging in now and there's a swing and a miss at an off speed pitch to start him out nothing in one Hey, I know the tying runs at first right here but if the pitcher on the mound executes keeps the ball in play I think good things are going to happen He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Drilled on the ground is short. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Dan, with two outs, the pitcher was mentally in the dugout already. Now he's got to regroup and find a way to get out of this. Hard not to feel for the guy. So striding in, Salvador Perez, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. In there for strike one. 
well. The Royals have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a great time. One and one to count. Three twos are scored here in inning number six. Right side. Dive by Gordon. The throw. Well, but the feed of the pitcher is wild, and the inning will continue. Tried to make it home when he shouldn't have, and now they've got him hung up. Oh, that's a shame because he made an outstanding diving stop right there. That's when I think the adrenaline might have been pumping a little bit too hard and the ball just takes off on him. Too bad. That could have been a highlight reel play. So stepping in, Ryan O'Hearn, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And he will deliver one of the biggest at-bats of the night. It's a base hit. One run score. Throw won't get him. Hey, that makes this one a lot more interesting here in the middle innings, Dior, after being down by one. Big base hit drives in, too. Yeah, that could be a huge knock right there, Dan, especially the way the bullpens have been throwing. They've been nasty. There's a lot of fuel out there, a lot of fire. Doesn't bode well for the offense. At the plate now, Michael Franco. Bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first, and they're able to escape the monster inning as the side is retired. So two runs on two base hits, two costly errors, and a couple of men left. Game four heads to the seventh inning now. Royals out in front, four to three. Into the box now, Dylan Moore. No hits to this point. Right this thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Uh, swung right over the top of that one as this is a little dribbler out in front of the mound. And the leadoff man in the inning will get the job done here. It's an infield single. The first I know it wasn't pretty right there, Dan, but that has to frustrate the pitcher. Leadoff guy, any time he gets on, usually creates a problem. It, you know what, Bill? It's especially tough when you get as late in the game as we are right now. Any time you get that leadoff guy on and have that pitcher start pitching out of the stretch, it always puts more stress on that pitcher pitching out of the stretch. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Man, I don't know how, but they've been booing the ball all over the yard, and they still have the lead. Sometimes you win this. Despite your defense instead of because of it, but they can't keep doing this and expect to be successful. J.P. Crawford will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. And he will not have a play behind him. It's an infield single. Now back, the center field. Now. So here's Malik Smith. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, I think it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind him because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. Set. Here's the 0-1. Oh, and a half swing there on a pitch out of the zone. Indeed, it's strike two. And he gets him swinging. What a big out there as there is now one away. One away for Seattle now in inning number seven. And up next is Speedy D. Gordon. First pitch on its way. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. Step on the back for one. But he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Now that. Digging in once again, Mitch yeah. Henniger. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. No one, no play. Hey, this one's tied late in the game. As a pitcher right now, you just can't lay a cookie in there 1-0. and Here's a fly ball well hit. 
Dozier moving back at the track. But he can't get it as it's off the wall. And the runner will score from second. It's a third now, but he's safe as two runs come across to score, and they grab the lead. Well, that's a huge base hit right there, Gilbert. We're getting late into this one, and that gives them the lead by two. Yeah, that could be a backbreaker right there. We'll see how this one ends up, but nice job to get that knock right there to drive in the pair. And that'll bring in Tom Murphy as he rips it on the ground to second. Fielded cleanly. And the off-balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. So three runs on three hits, one error, and one man left on base. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. It's the Mariners 6 and the Royals 4. J.P. Crawford is the new shortstop as he stays in the game after entering as a pinch hitter. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. First offering on its way. On a line, that's a base hit. Now batting. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Adalberto Mondesi, who represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it. So he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. So a runner at first now with one away. And with Merrifield, will dig in at the plate. Oh, he goes the other way, and he drives it out to deep right center field. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. Yeah, some guys have the ability to rise the occasion while some guys shrink away when it matters the most. Well, this guy is a gamer. He's been on fire since the postseason started, and after that hit, it looks like he doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. Here's the left fielder, Alex Gordon. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Bluff here as he'll step off and look him back to third. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force play is now in order. In is Jorge Soler, looking to give his team the lead if he can drive a ball deep enough into the outfield. First pitch coming, here it is. Hard on the ground towards short. And that is through into left as he delivers. It's a base hit. One run is scored. He's safe at the plate. And we are tied here in game four. Boy, there are base hits, but then there are big base hits, d -Row. This one's getting late. That is a huge two RBI base hit to tie things up. Yeah, Dan, in the late innings, the pressure gets higher. It's who can control their emotions. And from an offensive standpoint, that's a uh, Just a sec now as that ball finds its way into the outfield. A base hit. Oh, and the tag will get him at home plate as that keeps the ball game tied. Steps Salvador Perez. Fastball runs inside and gets away. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. So the lead runner moves up, but the runner on first was sleeping, it seems. Runners at the corners, two men out. comes the Seattle skipper on his way to the mound and a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening so he'll leave here in a tie ball game but really did not pitch a good one this afternoon here's the 1-0 
Slow roller left side. Knee high. He bare hands it. It's there. He got him. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. Eighth inning coming up. And we are all even at six apiece. Ready to begin the eighth. In now, Kyle Seeger. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider. Nothing in one. Popped up. Franco in foul ground. And no one will get this one. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Slow roller down the third baseline. The 0-2 once more. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. And the throw is there to record the first out. Now battle. Coming to the plate now, Austin Nova. He flew out in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Merrifield is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Now batting. Now batting, Dylan Moore is working on a one for three thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, dealer in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Into the box, Evan White, as he sends it on the ground to first. Dozier picks it up. And that's going to move that go-ahead run to second now with two gone. Hey, after back-to-back two-out hits right now, this pitcher thought he was going to cruise through this inning, and now he's got traffic, and he's in jeopardy with a ball in the gap or a ball missed over the heart of the plate. A crooked number going on here. Scooped up. Throw on to first will be in time, and the Mariner rally gets turned away as the inning is over. Mariners leave a couple. Weir still tied 6-6. Six and six. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Digging in now for Kansas City. Ryan O'Hearn. He's two for three and looking for more here. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground with the left side. And a nice job to get the ball in quickly. He'll be held to a single here with nobody out. Well, talk about having a pretty special oh, yeah. game. That's his third oh, single of the game, D. Row. Three for four. Not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. From the stretch. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Again, a 1-2. A little low. It's 2-2. Two two. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. He throws him on the fastball there. Michael Franco becomes the first out in the bottom of the eighth inning. He's set and the pitch. Hit out towards second. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. You can see that this wasn't that difficult to play as it headed up the middle, but it might have taken a funny hop there. He couldn't make the play on it. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out. And striding toward the plate next will be Adalberto Mondesi. 
hit on the ground down the first baseline. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. A little roller toward the hole. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow! With Merrifield next to bat. He came across to score after doubling in his last at-bat. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this A.B. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. On to first, and the Royals can't cash in as the inning is over. Royals strand a pair. This game remains tied at six. Next for Seattle, Malik Smith, 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. The Pepper Fielder, Malik Smith. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Flipped out the other way towards short. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Stepping in, D. Gordon, who comes into this appearance in the midst of a 1 for 4 day. From the stretch. Line drive to left. And that's a base hit. He's now two for five in this one. In this case, the numbers really do say it all. That's an incredible 13 hits now. Nothing pretty about those numbers. Kind of amazing he's even still in this one. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? Back to first, a double play. And we stay tied heading to the bottom of the ninth. One hit in the inning, but no one left. All squared up in Kansas City through eight and a half. The Royals have a chance to walk it off. So digging in now, Alex Gordon. And to start out the inning, it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever out there, Pam. They have, Matt. I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that. But it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit. We'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before. Here comes the first pitch. This is skied into short left center. Crawford has a play. And he makes the catch for the second out. Digging in and looking for more. Hunter Dozier. He singled his last time up. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Ground ball right into the shift. Reined in on to first. And can you believe it? A three-pitch inning. And just like that, the side is retired. Royals go down one, two, three. Score remains tied six apiece. Striding forward now, the Mariners' cleanup hitter, Tom Murphy. He was a ground-out victim last time up. Tom Murphy. First delivery to him on the way. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. Hit out towards second. Throw to first gets him. One out here to lead off the tenth. Now that We're digging in to try it again. Kyle Seeger. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Comes set and the 0-1. Grounded back up the middle. Mondesi brings it in. On the first and a good stretch over there is going to get him by a step for the second out. Now that, the hit it. In now the Mariners' D.H., Austin Nova. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Now here comes the Royal Skipper up the stairs on his way to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So he'll leave here in a tie game, but boy, this was not the kind of performance I think he wanted to have here tonight. Jake Kalish, a six foot two inch left hander, jogs in to take over on the hill.
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's a little chopper up the middle. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Mariners are down in order. Weir's still tied 6-6. Six and six. Stepping up now, Salvador Perez. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit out towards second. Throw on to first in time, one away. Digging in, Ryan O'Hearn. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. And 2-0 as this one's taken low. Bases are empty, one man out. 2-1 to the Royals' first baseman. Well, he was definitely trying to end it with one swing at a bat right there, leaving nothing to the imagination. That's the problem sometimes. Everyone wants to be a hero in extra innings instead of just getting on base and playing it like another inning. Uh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. That was a nasty-looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really yeah. well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Now a changeup is bounced to second. Throw on to first, and we are going to the 11th inning. KC down in order. This game remains tied at six. Play Dylan Moore, and he'll be the one to get the 11th underway. First offering on its way. Hit on the ground is short. And that's the first down. Now to the plate, Evan White. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there, and that's the second out. The batter, number three. At the plate, J.P. Crawford. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First delivery to him on the way. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Oh, I just don't understand that swing. The first two guys made outs on just one pitch. What are they doing up there? Ready with the 0-1. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Mariners are down on four pitches. Score remains tied six apiece. Riding in, Nicky Lopez. He, he was oh, able oh, to oh. reach base. The second base. Dan Altavilla oh, takes over now to start the home 11th, and he's looking to get this one to the visiting 12th. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all. It's strike one. Not much you can do with that one. Tied him up in knots. And he lays off for ball one. One one. Okay, here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Now that digging in the switch hitter, Adalberto Mondesi. He was a ground out victim last time up. Pulled toward right center field. Right fielder giving chase. 
but he can't make a play on it. And it hops into the stands to boot for a ground rule double. So now the winning run is into scoring position. Man, this guy is a blur on the base pass, Danny. He was really motoring around the bases. I think he had every intention of stretching that one into a triple. He definitely has the wheels, but the ball bouncing over for an automatic double put an end to any of those kind of thoughts. Stepping in, Alex Gordon. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. And this is fouled at the plate. Big spot here. Possible winning run at third. Two down. And he misses with it. One and one. That's not a bad pitch right there. That two-seamer moving away from a left-handed hitter. Didn't get the strike, but I like the idea behind the pitch. Good out in front there is Gordon, and this one's hit on the ground to second. On to first, and that'll mean a 12th inning is in order as this inning is over. Royals leave one. We're still tied six and six. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Malik Smith attempting to, as they say, get off the schneid here. 0 for 5 so far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Good slider there, and he gets ahead of him, nothing and one. You know what, Matty? I think it's so tough for a lefty to stay tucked on that slider, to keep his front shoulder in and be able to recognize it and not get beat with the fastball. On to first, and how important is it to keep this guy off base in a tie ball game? One away. The so striding forward now, D. Gordon. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. First pitch of the at-bat. This is line to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And now you start thinking about a possible matchup problem here, so you get a look at what remains in the Kansas City bullpen. Mitch Hanniger the next to bat. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. It's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. The 0-1. Swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Weak rounder back to the mound. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe out. Now that. So here's the cleanup hitter, Tom Murphy. It's his job to get something into the outfield and give that go-ahead run a chance to score from second. Here's the first pitch. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field, a base hit. He's in there at the plate, and they've taken the lead here in game four. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them, but when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, especially does, especially when you start to score runs late in the game off of quality pitching. Seeger as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to track it down and that'll end the inning. M's pick up a run on two hits. Riding forward now is the D.H. Jorge Soler. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. Don't expect this pitcher to throw something over the heart of the plate. He's going to have to stay on the corners right here. Huge spot in this game. Do not miss over the heart and get beat. 
throw will not be in time. So good hustle there is now the possible time run as you're bored to lead things off here. And that brings in Hunter Dozier as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. To Gordon for one. Back to first and a costly at bat there as the possible tying run is erased on the double play. Well, they got the tying run on base, but one ground ball later and it's gone. He's going to be frustrated with himself after that. Riding in once again, Salvador Perez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw on to first will be in time to get him, and the Mariners are going to live to fight another day. They stave off elimination here in game four as this ball game is over. Man, that was definitely a hard-earned victory, but that's what's going to make it even more satisfying. They take it in 12 innings on the road, and it's all smiles now. One last check of the line score in this extra innings victory. No better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason. And that's exactly what this man did. He's our tops player of the game. And obviously, every game is so important in the postseason. So when you come to play like he did and make a big difference for your team, it's something that won't be forgotten. A tight one, 7-6, to six, the final score tonight. The Seattle Mariners trail in this series three games to one. Dan Altavia earns the victory on the mound. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Seattle Mariners, seven runs on 15 hits, four errors, they left nine.